So in part three of using Salsa J to do photometry on an open cluster, I want to show you what you can do now that you've made a color magnitude diagram. Um, this is what we ended up with in the last tutorial. And so from here, you might want to see what information is already known about this cluster and if anybody else has ever done a color magnitude diagram of it. So what you can do is go to a website called Webda, um, and you can either just Google Webda, or this is the address for it here. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can go to Navigation, and there's lots of things to look at here. One useful thing is you can just search for a cluster. Now, the cluster we were doing was NGC 957-3, so I'm just going to look that up, NGC 957-3, and enter, and here we go. We get lots of information about it. We get where it is, its location in the galaxy, its distance, and we also get log age, which tells us the age of the cluster as a logarithm. So what this means is that the cluster is 10 to the 7th, approximately, years old. An older one might be 10 to the 8th or 10 to the 9th years old. And then we can go down here. There's lots of information about it. Um, you can click on any of these things and kind of explore what's here. And um, one thing that's interesting is to click on this color magnitude diagram. And we can see that um, this, may, this might look similar to the one I got. I think I didn't get quite as many stars, but they've done the same color bands as what I showed you here. Um, but they had a lot more stars. They probably had a wider field of view and probably a longer exposure time. But that's an interesting comparison, and if you've done a color magnitude diagram for a star cluster, you might want to compare if there has been um, a color magnitude diagram made before. Another thing that can be of interest is this galactic longitude and latitude to look at where in the galaxy it is, and you could look and see if there um, is any correlation between anything about your star cluster and its location um, and its distance from us. Um, so another thing you can do is go back here and search for clusters by parameters, which is interesting. If you want some that are in a certain area of the sky, a certain, um, a certain place in the galaxy, a certain distance from us, or an interesting thing could be to look them up by age. We want all the ones that are um, between log 7 and log 8. And we can submit a query and we get all kinds of them and you can see these are all the age I specified. Um, goes down quite far. And then what you can do is actually look at these other ones and again you get some information from them there. So one thing you could do is if you are interested in this star cluster, you could go to Available Data, and this tells you what colors they have information on. And then you get data very similar to what we got um, out of the CMD plotter. And you could copy this all out into a spreadsheet and make your own plot and compare that to what they get here if we go back and look at their color magnitude diagram. Um, but I just um, wanted to make sure that um, you could see another place to check for information on open clusters. And um, there's a lot more information here than what we covered, but it gives you a good starting place if you would like to learn more.